vaccination is key to getting the pandemic under control and keeping and keeping the economy strong. Your morning news now. President Biden met with executives from Microsoft, Disney and others to urge companies to mandate vaccines for their employees. Currently, just 63 percent of the eligible population is fully vaccinated. Vaccines got a holy endorsement yesterday. Pope Francis told reporters that humanity has a history of friendship with vaccines and urged everyone to get their shots. This comes as the U.S. passes a grim milestone. One in 500 Americans dead from COVID-19, totaling over 663,000 people. New numbers from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services show how effective the vaccine is at protecting people. Last month, data showed that 125 fully vaccinated people per 100,000 residents were infected with coronavirus and 369 unvaccinated people per 100,000 were infected. Data this month shows a massive spike. Now 360 fully vaccinated people for every 100,000 are infected and 1,413 unvaccinated people per 100,000 are infected. The $100 bonus for Wisconsinites who get their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine is nearing a finish line. The program runs through Sunday. Since Governor Evers program started, just over 115,000 people have received at least one dose. To be eligible, recipients must verify their vaccination status with the DHS. Nice morning commute here for us with mostly sunny conditions. It's going to be sunny and uh, warm here as we head into the afternoon. Evening looking good with clear skies expected. Parts of the city of Winona are under a boil water advisory. The city's water may be contaminated from two water main breaks. The city is recommending some residents do not drink, brush their teeth or cook with their tap water without first boiling the water. The issue is expected to be resolved within a few days. If you'd like a list of neighborhoods affected by the order, go to cityofwinona.com. A Madison area man is pleading guilty to a misdemeanor charge for his role in the January 6th Capitol riot. 29-year-old Brandon Nelson appeared by video conference in the U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. on a charge of parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. He faces six months in federal prison. Prosecutors say Nelson traveled from Madison to attend the rally with Abram Markoski of La Crosse. Apple Fest is back in La Crescent starting today. The King Apple Tent and Carnival Rides get underway at Abnet Field, as well as the Little King and Little Miss Pageant. And starting tomorrow, the tapping of the Red Apple Keg starts at 7 p.m. If you'd like to attend the fest, you will need a button. Apple Fest runs through Sunday. Honestly, I don't personally think there's a bigger uh, opportunity and a bigger joy and honor for a Northsider and lacrosse to be the Torchlight Parade Marshal. We now know who this year's Oktoberfest Parade Marshals are, Samantha Strong. And you just heard from Scott Newmeister. Strong is part of 94.7 Classic Hits Morning Show and will be the Maple Leaf Parade Marshal. Newmeister, who serves as a city council member, will be the Torchlight Parade Marshal. Oktoberfest is set to begin in just a few weeks. The Torchlight Parade will be held on Thursday, September 30th, and the Maple Leaf Parade is on Saturday, October 2nd. And we are looking at mostly cloudy skies tomorrow as a cold front begins to move in this weekend. Lots of sun, temperatures warming up to the 80s by Sunday. Thanks so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Thursday and we'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.